In Hindu legends, Yashoda, also spelt as Yasoda, is the foster mother of Krishna and wife of Nanda. She is described in the Puranic texts of Hinduism. According to Bhagavata Purana, Krishna was born to Devaki, but Krishna's father Vasudeva brought the newborn Krishna to his cousin Nanda Baba in Gokul, in order to raise and protect Krishna from Devaki's brother Kansa, the king of Madara. The name Yashoda means one who is giver of fame or glory. Yashoda bathing the child Krishna illustration of a Bhagavata Purana manuscript, c. 1500 AD Krishna foster mother Yashoda with the infant Krishna. Kola period early 12th century, Tamil Nadu, India. According to Bhagavata Purana, Yashoda was the incarnation of Dara, wife of Vasudrona. Little is known about Yashoda's early life, other than her marriage with Nanda. Kansa, the ruler of Madara had decided to kill Krishna as soon as he was born. In order to protect Krishna from Kansa, Krishna and Yoganidra or Yogamaya were born at the same time from the wombs of Devaki and Yashoda, respectively, and were exchanged by Vasudeva Anakadandubi. Krishna survived as the foster son of Yashoda. Various childhood episodes or leelas of Krishna, growing up in Yashoda's household, abound in Hindu religious texts. In Srimad Bhagavatam, Yashoda is praised as, neither Lord Brahma, nor Lord Shiva, nor even the goddess of fortune, who is always the better half of the Supreme Lord, can obtain from the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The deliverer from this material world, such mercy is received by Mother Yasoda, Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 9, Verse 20 Important among them is Krishna giving darshan to Yashoda with his Vishwarupa. Ved Vyasa states in Mahabharata that sage Narada once visited Krishna at Vrindavan. Krishna was playing in the sand and was swallowing it. Yashoda, upon seeing it, was furious with Krishna for disobeying her and punished him by tying him to a grinding stone. Upon witnessing this act sage Narada stated and the Thabam said on I, Yashoda undertaken to be bestowed with the powers to punish the Supreme. This is also seen as a question to Narayana as to how he accepts this. It literally asks what penance Yashoda has undertaken in her previous birth to be bestowed with the powers to punish, love, and care for the Supreme Vishnu. Upon this request, it is said that Krishna opens his mouth in front of Yashoda, who sees the seven oceans and the entire universe and also Narayana seated upon Adi Shesha, attended upon by his consort Mahalakshmi. Upon this divine intervention, Mother Yashoda faints, to be revived by Krishna and attended by sage Narada, who explains to her about Krishna's life. Krishna stealing butter, Krishna tied to a mortar is written by poet Saint Surtis, where her deep affection for Krishna becomes an epitome of Vatsalya Prima, mother's love and even Vatsalya Bhakti, mother's devotion. In the Devapura Yuga, Yashoda couldn't witness the marriage of Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna promised her that she would get that chance of seeing his marriage when Lord Krishna incarnates again as Lord Venkateshwara in the Kali Yuga. In the Kali Yuga, Yashoda was born as Vakula Devi, as the mother of Lord Venkateshwara and witnessed the marriage between Venkateshwara and Goddess Padmavati. 1975 Telugu film Yashoda Krishna, directed by C.S. Rao, presented events in the life of Krishna and his attachment towards Yashoda. Sir Devi played the role of the child Krishna in the film. Thanks for watching.